there, hiking maniacs, and welcome to my channel, Hiking with Rob, the channel where we make hiking fun and exciting. Today I'm broadcasting from a secret CIA uh, interrogation facility in the mountains somewhere. No, I'm just kidding, man. I'm in my bedroom. This is so humiliating! Um, today I'm very excited because um, I'm going to put my old U.S. Army Alice pack back into action. Now, if you guys don't know what an Alice pack is, I got one right here. This big old buddy right here. A monstrosity. And uh, the, the, the pack that I have right here is actually a modified Alice pack. And um, the reason we haven't been using it for so many years, the last couple of years, is because our shoulder strap broke off. I just never, when I retired, I never bothered to go get a new, tra new strap. You lack discipline. Until today. I'm very pleased to announce uh, my shoulder straps I ordered online have showed up, and uh, I'm going to open them up right here in front of you for the first time ever. So. Oh, hey. this is paper. <laughs> so these are the shoulder straps that we are going to be putting on the Alice pack today. Uh, but before I forget, um, if you guys like what you see on this channel and you want to see more of it, please hit the uh, like button. Go and smash the old like button there and hit the old subscriber Rooney button and don't forget to ring that bell so you find out when I make a new video. And, you can, and I can annoy you even more. But without further ado, let's get into it. Real quick uh, look at the Alice pack. Also, real quick look at my little Inu who is sleeping. <laughs> so, this Alice pack here, I got it a few years ago when I was back in Hawaii, and this is actually a modified Alice pack, like I said before. Um, just like this typical Alice pack, it's got like the uh, metal frame here, and it's got the little part at the bottom there where the kidney pads attach. And uh, you can see, this is actually a really, a really robust kidney pad. It gives you <laughs> and the thing that the old Alice packs don't have, which this one does. It's got several features. Um, it's got on the side here. Um, it's got a place to put your Camelback and other gear, and it also has a really cool uh, carrying handle, that, uh, which I have some straps attached to, so they don't smack me in the back of the head. Um, and it, you can you can pick it up by this handle. Uh, it's more for dragging though. Over here we've got the old uh, Claymore pouch. <laughs> That's what it's called, a Claymore pouch. But you can put anything. It doesn't have to be a mine. It could be anything actually. <laughs> and then uh, here's another pouch which I like to use for medical gear a lot of times. And then down here there's an extra pouch uh, <laughs> which is on the original Alice pack also. And then you have the other pouches to the left and right, which uh, both of which uh, you can put a poncho, uh, poncho or poncho liner, you can roll them up and put them in there. And then you got the bottom pouch, which is mainly I use for sleeping bags or other gear. You can put a lot of snacks in there. <laughs> yeah. And then here's a couple extra, uh, you see these extra pouches on the side here. And then once again, top left and top left and top right. You can really fit an unlimited amount of stuff in here. And then here's another camelback pouch. Straps. As I mentioned earlier, the, there's a spot for the straps on the top, and then you attach at the bottom over here. You can see I've got one of the straps from earlier on, from the previous, but you can see it's seen better days. So we are going to actually replace both of the straps. And um, the new straps are right here, and I have them laid out but in this way because um, the main thing you want to consider is which strap goes on which side. So there is a slight um, angle to the straps as they come into um, right in front of the uh, the shoulder as you come over the top of the of, from the back over the top of the shoulder and into sort of the front sort of toward the deltoid um, these you see how it's making like a little um, little V you want the V to be going outward not inward because if you have it reversed 
it's going to be all messed up. You're not going to have an even distribution. Of the what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep this strap on for now, and I'm going to just put this other one on first. And you can see way the way the strap goes, how it goes around uh, the buckle, and it also goes around the uh, top of the frame. And as you can see, there's a little um, spot right there that you can put the um, you put the, the top part of the strap, the attaching portion of the strap, through it, and it goes through the buckle, and then it cinches down. So you guys can see here where the um, little ring is. I don't know if you can see that in there. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to insert um, the distal end of the strap through here. It goes around. And as you can see, you're going around this way. This way in the bottom. You pull through. And you go through right here on the top. So you're gonna have a lot of excess up here. It's okay to have a little bit of ex a lot of excess. What we're gonna do is we're eventually we're gonna wind up wrapping that. We're gonna have an S roll we call it. We're just gonna go ahead and roll it uh, like such. And eventually it's gonna get taped. It's gonna get taped right here. So I'm talking about the slack right now, just focusing on getting the uh, pack uh, strap to put on it. Okay, so um like I was saying earlier, you've got this um, other portion here. Now, what I want to call your attention to is this is very this is kind of important because um, it actually seems really cool that they gave us these things attached. But in reality, we are going to have to detach this. So we're gonna basically this is a quick release emergency quick release system in case you got to get out of your pack quickly. Um, you got to you can pull it and it will um, actually loosen the strap all the way so that you can uh, drop your shoulder out and if you can pop this little um, pull the dot fastener thingy um, these will actually come out when you put a little bit of weight on it see how that comes free now don't worry it's not broken um, okay, so, uh, <laughs> like I was saying before we have this uh, we just pulled the uh, straps in half uh, apart rather and the reason we had to take it apart was because if you look really closely down here you can see there's a hole that needs to go um, the end of the strap needs to go through the hole, but what you're going to do is there is a loop that is sewn into uh, into this. So the key thing you have to remember is you're going to go through, and I always go through underneath first. If you go oh, through over the top, you can, but it's going to make it um, again. You want the weight pulling in the direction that it needs to be pulled. So now see how I've got it through through the hole, you can see, and there is a loop, and it's gonna go through the loop. Now, a key thing to remember, when you put it through the loop here, make sure you don't twist the strap, because if you twist the strap, it's gonna stay twisted, so it has to make sure it's flat. I always like to keep it flat. And you wanna make sure that the uh, smooth side is gonna be facing downward, because that's the side that's gonna go into this other um, attaching point here, as you can see. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna put this through. Very easy, very easy to do indeed. And then once it's through, I always like to just kind of make sure you don't get it around anything else. And I like to just kind of, you know, cinch it really good. So, and then you can see how it's, that's not going anywhere. That can hold like as much weight as you want to, as you can carry. Now the other part is, this is a little trickier. And we gotta go ahead and we have to make sure that both of these um, straps here we got to make sure they both get in because this is basically your quick release. So what happens is these two uh, meet in the middle and you can see how you've got a, uh, and they go flat to each other. So these two guys are going to meet in the middle here and he's going to come up through and this little guy um, with, the, with the two prongs is going to go, um, you're going to have to put him through the resulting um, the resulting ring here kind of see where he's kind of see how he's coming through and then after that the pull the dot fastener goes over the top so now you've got yourself so now you've got your strap your strap is attached to the top. and uh, if you want to really if you want to loosen it at all you can pull this up and it'll it's a quick release see so and then you just want to make it tighter 
you pull it down. So you can release, or you can pull it in. And that's how you test it out. You can test it by just, a uh, good way to test it is just take the pack and hold it up and make sure it's supporting the way to make sure it's at that. See, there's, there's the point of support. So um, that's how you put the straps on. Oh no, where's my other strap? It's buried under a mountain of stuff here. Because I just took all, I took all my stuff out of there. <laughs> it was really disorganized. So I'll probably do another video on how to organize all your crap and pack it in the uh, rucksack. <laughs>
Um, so I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative. And I hope you uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you guys like what you saw, go ahead and hit the subscribe or ring button. And also click on some of my other videos here for the hikes and some of the other crazy shenanigans I get into here in Santa Clarita with my doggy. Go ahead and click on those videos as well. Everybody uh, take care of yourselves and keep on driving, keep on pushing, stay safe, and keep the faith.